Welcome to AppChasers.com. Today we're taking a look at a few different alternative email apps that are available for iPhone and iPad. Now, most of the time, people are probably using the mail app that comes with iOS that's built by Apple. But these other apps, such as Dispatch and Mailbox, uh, just offer some really neat features that are missing from the native mail app. So you might want to take a look at them. Right now we're going to show you what we don't like about the native email app and uh, how Mailbox, our favorite app, fixes those problems. So if we go right into the uh, Mail uh, app here, we've got our inbox, of course, that we're showing. Now, a lot of times we'll want to uh, delete emails or archive emails. But the Mail app only allows you to do one of those from this view. So if we slide over here, we can archive it, archive it or go to More, and that just gives us some other options here. But it doesn't give us an option to delete it. So we'll cancel out of that. We could archive it, but uh, we'll go actually into the, uh, into the message here. And then if we hold down on this box here at the bottom, that's going to give us the option to trash the message. But I like to be able to, um, you know, right from the inbox view, be able to uh, take control of my emails, archive them, delete them. And a really neat feature that Mailbox offers is to treat your inbox as a to-do list, um, almost uh, letting you check off emails or remind yourself of emails in the future. And I'll show you how it does that. So let's go back here to our main screen and we'll get into the Mailbox app. Now you can see it looks very similar to the native Mail app, but instead it gives us a lot, of, a lot more options. Now just like the native Mail app, you've got a basic Compose button here in the upper right hand corner where you can start uh, typing different email addresses and it'll open right from your contacts um, on your iPhone. You've also got uh, some different attachment options here at the bottom right of the Compose window. You see that little paper clip uh, for attaching files and then also the uh, camera icon here for attaching photos. What's neat about this paper clip is since Mailbox is owned by Dropbox, this goes right into your Dropbox folder and you can just attach any document from your Dropbox folder uh, right to your email here. So it's really neat how that works. Um, kind of what's missing from iOS in the first place, the ability to just attach any file. Going back into our main inbox view here in Mailbox. I'll show you what I really like about the app and that is its swipe gestures. Now before we showed you in the native mail app how you can archive a message uh, but if you want to delete it you either need to go right into the message itself and uh, it just causes a few more taps that we'd rather avoid or you could go into the native settings on uh, on iOS and change archive to delete and do it that way but you can't have both available at the same time yet with mailbox you can and I'll show you how to do that if you're just looking if you're just looking at your inbox here and you start to swipe you'll notice that it gives you a green check mark now that indicates that it's going to go into archive but if you continue to swipe you'll notice it turns red and that means you're going to trash that message so we'll do that there we just trash that message um, or we could shake the device and we can say undo that action. So we'll say undo and now we've got our message back. We can also archive that by swiping just like you see there. Um, now you'll notice at the top of the screen we've got this archive button that shows us all of our emails that we've archived. So if we need to uh, retrieve them back to the inbox at any time we can just uh, sweep, swipe that over like you see there. Let's go back into our inbox and I'll show you how I like to use Mailbox. This is really cool. If you want to be reminded about an email, you don't want to deal with it right now, you may not have the information that you need to reply to that email yet. If you want to, you can set yourself a reminder to come back to that email at a later time. Now you do that by swiping to the left and you'll get that yellow 
indicator with the clock icon. When you release that, it's going to ask you if you want a reminder later today, this evening, tomorrow, uh, this weekend, or you can go ahead and just pick a date. So let's go to today, and right now it's 3.05. Or actually, we can just it's 3.03 right now. We can just set it for 3.05 p.m. We'll say OK. And uh, again, at the top of the screen, if we ever want... Um, to see those reminders that we have set, we can always go to that Reminders uh, tab there at the top. You can also continue to swipe, uh, and it'll go from Reminders now to your folders that are set up in Mailbox. Now, you can set these yourself by creating a new list, and uh, just go ahead and type whatever you want that list to be called. So, we won't do that right now, but that'll set up a folder structure uh, which you can better organize your emails within the Mailbox app. Now, if you ever want to see that folder structure or other folders that you have set up in your email inbox, you can go to this tab in the upper left-hand corner, and that will show you uh, your settings, your different folders, or they're called lists here in Mailbox, and then your different mailboxes, email uh, accounts that you have linked to Mailbox here. So it's a really neat app. I love the Reminders feature especially because it allows you to clear your email inbox out and then uh, get those push notifications when that uh, email is ready to come back into your inbox and you're reminded of it so you can deal with that email at that time. So that's the Mailbox app and uh, we really recommend it. It's an awesome app, our favorite one here at AppChasers.com. So give it a look. Thank you.